I was just on the riverbank. They repositioned and we knocked it out. It was a quick interview. We get up. Everybody's kind of like huddling together. I look over to the left and further down the riverbank, but not far at all. There's this giant boulder. I see a bear hit that corner, right? Just walking, right? I immediately, bear, bear, bear. Now, the thing about bears is that we had a whole safety meeting and they we had bear mace. The guide specifically said I couldn't have some. On camera, I was like, all right, let me get the mask. She was like, she was like no, let me keep it. I will never accept that answer again. I will, n I don't care if it's my first time handling it, if it's a harpoon, a bear bazooka, a bear pistol, a bear shoddy, I will always have one, always. But it was just like, no, you're a beginner, you can't have it, let me have it, right? Okay, so I have nothing. The other thing that they tell you to do is not to run, okay? Apparently you're supposed to be so comfortable around a grizzly bear that you either let it pass, not like this, but just get out of its way. They said, sometimes you can acknowledge it by saying, hey bear, hey bear, hey bear, no problems. That's why every time you see a, a bear video and it's some person with the camera's like, hey bear, hey bear. I was always like, what the hell are you saying what up for? Don't dap it up, go rawr. Apparently that only works for black bears. If you go rawr with the grizzly bear, they'll square up. So thank God that wasn't anybody's instinct. So ideally, we had to walk away calmly from a brown bear. Now, the following story I'm about to say is 100,000% true. I put it on my life. I put this on my life that this happened. Now, the reason why I say that is because it was so randomly terrifying that it sounds like just something that you would say to make your nature show, you know? Um, this is not in the nature show. <laughs> it is not in, we did not roll cameras. We did not do any of that. We briefly talk about what happened. We just said we got out the way and now here's a, a bear traffic jam, which I'll get to. Um, but this, this is just me saying it. If you believe it, you believe it. If you don't, you don't, but it's not part of the show because we did not give a shit about the show in the next five minutes because, well, it's way shorter than five minutes, I'm sure. So I say... Bear, 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 come on, bear, let's go. I hit the trail. There's like two cameramen behind me and everybody else is behind. I'm not about to, come on, come on, come on. I say, bear, bear, bear. I warn everybody. Everybody's like, oh shit. We walk, the guy's like, don't run, don't run. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it, right? We turn around again. It's running. It's running. Not fast but it's running. So now we have to calmly walk fast, but, and, and, and every time we look behind us, there is a running bear and we saw the cub behind him. This was the same family. This, in, it may not have been, I'm, I'm not sure, but in my mind, this was the same family. It's the only bear I knew that was sticking by its kids. That, that cub came, it started running. We're just like, what, what, what do we do? What do we, like, what am I supposed, what are we supposed to do? Like at some point, you're gonna have to start booking it because he already made the decision. It's, it's a runoff, right? Don't run, don't run. So the cameraman's in front of me. There's like a, there's a bush, like, like a kind of like the, where the forest ends. And then to the left is a trail and that's the trail up to the cars. Cause we weren't that far away. It was like a, the street, you park your car on the side, wherever, cause it's Alaska and you take a trail down to the river, right? We didn't hike to this river. It was just right off. Cause remember when we saw the, the bear, we just got in the car right away. We were not out in the wilderness with these bears. Uh, although the whole thing was wilderness. So once we hit that trail, bear can't see me, I'm gone. Boop, 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 boop. Go up to the, uh, the, the street, run to the car, pop the thing, get the mace, take the little safety tab out, okay? So there's like, the bear mace is really powerful and it can, and it says, works on most bears. It says most. It's lethal for humans. If you spray a human, you, they could potentially die. It's really bad for humans. So it has this like the safety tab in it 
and it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of weird shape. So I kind of mess with it and I take it out and I'm just like, why did I never have this? Right. Everybody comes back. Everybody's good. Three people are rubbing their eyes. The sound guy, he has glasses on. He's like rubbing his eyes. One of you know, people are freaking out. Apparently, one of the PAs, I won't say their name. They had bear mace. So it was the guide who didn't use it at all. And then uh, the, uh, somebody, uh, one of the associates uh, on, the, on the set was there, one of the producers. They freaked out. They freaked out and tried to get the little tab open and a little bit sprayed. So apparently, I hit that corner. Apparently, the, the, the cloud of the bear mace, it didn't spray anybody directly, hit a few people. And luckily, they so so imagine you just saw the bear and then you couldn't see it all. That must have been terrifying. They were basically grabbed and guided up the, the thing, and the bear basically just kept going and just kept going up the the, the riverbed. So I don't know if he was charging at us, because I feel like if he was charging at us, he would have got one of us. Or if he saw us and he was just he ran to make sure that we were we were going away. But when I tell you people left their stuff down there. People were not playing. There was sound gear down there. A camera was up there. People just boop, hit that corner. And then once we saw the bear was further further up, we went down and got all this stuff. People were freaking out, traumatized and shit like that. Uh, and what ended up happening was that bear was going to a man-made thing that was going across the river that was counting the salmon. It was so smart. I guess it just goes out there every day and just yanks them all out. So we did. We were out there for maybe like 35, 45 minutes. Didn't catch a damn thing. This nigga went over there and caught about 10 fish in two minutes and pulled them to the street where him and his kid or he, her and her kid ate the fish and caused a huge traffic jam. <laughs> caused a giant traffic, just a bear traffic jam. And everybody was getting out and taking pictures and stuff. We met a family who saw us get chased and they were just like man that's that's alaska we should have recorded it i was like nigga you should have helped 